The Upper Peninsula is home to many underutilized scenic public locations, including the Scenic National Wildlife Refuge. Tonight in the first of three parts, TV6's Nicole Buckman shows us countless activities the refuge offers in our special series, Hidden Getaways. Stretching more than 95,000 acres, it's hard to believe that Sydney Wildlife Refuge is considered a hidden getaway in the Upper Peninsula. Established in 1935 for the protection and production of migratory birds and wildlife, Sydney is rich with marshes, swamps, bogs, and forests. Our wildlife refuges in a real simplified form is wildlife first, uh, but then we like to make sure that folks get a chance to appreciate the wildlife that's here and the habitats that they need. So we do offer a lot of facilities and opportunities that are based on wildlife dependent recreation. Sini offers guided and self guided tours through the Seven Mile Marshland Wildlife Drive. Tours are free to the public and can be offered in the mornings and evenings on certain weekdays until October. We see a lot more of the refuge that's not typically open to the public and uh, we've had some great experiences out there so far seeing a lot of different wildlife that you don't get to see so often. So far we've seen bear, uh, sage grouse, some of the larger stuff that's uh, not out maybe during the day. Visitors can not only enjoy guided and self guided tours through the refuge, but also have access to fishing, hunting, walking and biking several trails. We're not out for to do, you know, hardcore mountain biking for exercise necessarily, but to get you to places where you might see different types of wildlife or canoe the Manistique River in the wintertime, ski and snowshoe. So things that are kind of quiet sports and opportunities to get in and, and uh, view wildlife. The refuge is also rich in education, especially in the visitor center where there are hands on activities for exploring the wildlife indoors, making Sydney a place where visitors can get a lot out of their visit, either if it's for 15 minutes or hours. Ideally to, to fully experience the refuge, you would have at least about two hours. And in addition to that, you can always come into the visitor center and check out binoculars that you can take along with you on the drive. Officials say the season dictates what wildlife can be easier seen and ultimately hopes guests can make a connection when they visit. We have to think about how our visitors affecting wildlife on the refuge and, and adjust accordingly. But in the long term, we need all of us to, you know, know about wildlife life and that we can you know protect it for, for our kids and our grandkids. For more details on all activities open at Sydney Wildlife Refuge, visit uppermichigansource.com. Nicole Buckman, TV6 News, Sydney.